Hey you guys, how are you doing? First of all, I would like to say thank you for all the comments and I just uh, reached 100 subscribers, which is awesome. You know, when I started like a couple of weeks ago, I never have imagined that I would so quickly reach 100. So thank you so, so much for all your support and for all your comments and keep watching. Today, actually, I don't want to do a review, but instead I would like to talk about reactions of people around me to this perfume obsession. So I started seven years ago and back then I only wanted to have a small collection. So I said to myself, well, I would only have like up to five perfumes and it's gonna be okay. I will have everything for each season. And that's fine. But then I started to read blogs and um, started to be a part of our community and I found a lot more interesting stuff. So then I said to myself, well, let's only have up to 10 perfumes and obviously it um, grown and grown and now it's so much. But in the beginning I tried to hide this obsession <laughs> so i uh, never wanted anybody to know except of course uh, for my boyfriend and friends and family who saw it and back then i was studying and uh, but i didn't want to tell anybody about this except uh, that when we were in prague with my classmates sometimes i tell them to go with me or some sniffing into the shops and stuff like that but I was never really open about my obsession because uh, I read on various blogs that um, people can be really rude and they can tell you well you should uh, you shouldn't spend so much money and who cares you know I buy perfumes because it makes me happy and that's what matters actually uh, so my collection was slowly growing and growing and then I started working and in my first job I didn't really tell anybody except I had one colleague whose uh, signature scent was Angel and then she had uh, Chanel number no. 5. So I can speak to her a little bit and sometimes I shared some samples and stuff and that was it. And then I moved into another city and I started working for a bigger company uh, where I still work and um, I now have a lot of um, or more of female colleagues. So at the beginning I was not really talking about my perfume obsession um, because I was scared they would judge me that I spend so much money for something I don't really need. Yet then I admit, admitted and we started to chat with my colleague from my office and I brought her some perfumes and some samples and I recommended her some, uh, some perfumes. I bought her some and then um, also for another colleagues of mine and I think they are okay with it. Sometimes I get a nice compliment from the ladies. Um, so it's all okay, except for from my boss, who really hates everything I wear. He hates all the perfumes, with one exception, which is uh, 21 Hukambon by Chanel. He actually said, it's not that bad. Yeah, so he hates, absolutely hates anything with vanilla. So <laughs> when I don't want to be around him, <laughs> I. Uh, I use uh, hypnotic poison because that's uh, loads of vanilla in it, so I know he <laughs> will not want to be in one room with me for a long time. Um, otherwise, uh, I received some compliments, even from strangers. So actually strangers commented um, this one. This is uh, Guerlain Ancelance, but it's the uh, pure perfume version. 
So complete strangers stopped me a couple of times and said it's a wonderful, wonderful perfume. Uh, and this is the one that actually my uh, former colleague from my office didn't like at all because I, I told her, look, I wear a lot of perfume, uh, I have a lot of bottles, just tell me if there's something you can stand or you don't like and I will not wear it around you. Um, so she just um, said this one is not her favorite and it's too loud and um, um, I shouldn't wear it. So that's, that's the only one and that's the one that's most complimented at the same time. Although once I was a, on a business trip in Germany and we had a lot of colleagues from around Europe sitting there and I used um, a bigger amount of my arms ones and I noticed that after a while all the window, windows were open so I don't know where that was, you know. And then um, people actually commented this one, this is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Mandarina Basilic. So I got some nice compliments on this one. This is a light, nice, fresh, citrusy, inoffensive smell, so no wonder people like it. And actually guys like uh, this Amouage Dia, which to me, I don't know why is this happening, because to me this is a maternal scent, but from the reactions I got the feeling that for them, for, for some guys, it's really oh, sexy, even I don't like to describe my, my perfumes as sexy, whatever. And also my female colleague uh, said this, this, she said this really suits you, it's better than all those sweet bombs you usually wear. Oh, I love my sweet perfume, so, but I try to wear this one more and this is an aldehydic, uh, quite a floral dense perfume. Okay, so that were some compliments and I have to admit I don't receive so many compliments. Uh, sometimes I read somewhere that uh, this fragrance earned me a lot of compliments, like everybody stops me on the street and comments how nice I smell and we don't really get this here. I don't know if that's the European thing and in the States it's so different, but it's not that every day I have a compliment, maybe like once in a month or something like that. So it's strange how this differs. Like, um, I mean, here where I live, it's not common that people would comment uh, on your perfume. What about my family? So <laughs> my mother always comments uh, when, whenever I wear something sweet because she doesn't really like sweet perfumes at all and so some of her comments are like what smells like Christmas here or what the hell are you wearing again it's so sweet so but what can you do she's yeah they are okay with them and my grandfather commented that I have so many bottles. That was back then when I had my uh, collection in uh, my parents' house. Now I moved, so I have it uh, in my apartment. But back then he hinted that I wouldn't be even able to recognize one smell from another if I haven't seen the bottles, which is so not true. I think I could test it sometimes but I think even blindfolded I would I would be able to tell um, which one I'm sniffing so no way that's not true I know them all <laughs> and thanks to me actually my mom now has quite a nice collection of perfumes because I gave her some samples in the past and whenever she liked something I bought it for her for Christmas or for her birthday so I think she can be satisfied with my hobby as well. <laughs> Regarding the guys, uh, I have to say that um, everyone likes a completely different type of perfume. Some guys really liked uh, the sweet ones, uh, which in my opinion are a little bit more sultry. And some guys just like the light and inoffensive ones. And <laughs> One friend of mine actually told me when I, I bought the 
Honor by Amouache and we were unboxing it <laughs> together and he told me, well, this is strong like a leg from a billiard table. <laughs> so it was funny but I felt quite sad because to me this, that one is not the strongest one that I have actually. But um, uh, I don't think you can say that uh, generally guys like vanilla or guys like citruses because everybody is really really different. Now I am pretty much known for having this obsession so people are asking me to help them to pick something for themselves or for their girlfriends so I am considered an expert in this field which is uh, flattering I have to say. Um, it always makes my day when somebody considers me to be really good. Do you guys receiving perfumes as gift? My ex-boyfriend bought me a couple of perfumes which was always really nice from him. Sometimes I had to give him a hint of what I would like to receive sometimes. Oh, I think every time I had to tell him actually. Yeah. Um, he was at the beginning he was quite hesitant to buy me perfumes because he told me well I don't want to buy you something that you will buy yourself and um, I think he also didn't understand that this is really my hobby and I'm not a collector and I but I want to enjoy all my stuff and that's why I have so many bottles and then he got it and he supported me a lot. He bought me my cabinet and he bought me a couple of nice gifts. So overall the reactions of the people around me are pretty much positive and I'm glad. Uh, because as I said, I heard that some people get really negative comments about how much perfume they are using and basically those people usually are people who smell really bad. I understand that everybody has some hobby of their own. Somebody likes to drive on motorbikes so they have 10 motorbikes. Why not if it makes them happy? And perfumes make, make me happy so why wouldn't I have 37 bottles or 100 bottles, whatever. It's just a passion so I think you shouldn't feel guilty about having more than an average person has. Also I try not to talk about the price of some bottles that I bought because that really makes people wonder like they are not aware that a perfume can be so expensive so not that they would usually judge me or something but you know I like to try uh, like to keep this for myself. I think I wouldn't be able to stop wearing perfumes for anybody. I mean I can respect that uh, a person doesn't like one particular perfume or more of them but um, they have to live with it that I wear perfume. So if we share some space then of course I always ask is it okay for you and whenever you wouldn't like something just tell me and I stop wearing it when I'm around you but I mean I'm not willing to stop wear perfume completely. What about you? Would you, would you get rid of your bottles just because your boss hates it or your colleague hates it or your husband doesn't like it. What are your thoughts? Uh, so guys, again, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel and for all your comments. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what the reactions of your um, surrounding has been so far. And see you soon. Bye bye.